Yo, what's the deal? You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Cardio, you and Cardio. What today? We got another reaction video, bro. I need y'all to like, comment, and subscribe, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Show some love. I appreciate y'all. I see y'all. Y'all been doing y'all thing straight up. You know what I'm saying? Y'all been doing y'all thing. Let's keep doing it. Let's keep going up. Let's let them numbers go up, man. We need 5,000 subs, bro. Let's get the 5,000 subs. Could y'all do that for me? You know what I'm saying? From a real one to a real one. Could y'all do that for me? You know we got more hot content on the way. Got more stuff on the way. Today, we got FBG Butter exposes Aunt Glizzy getting some head from his male best friend, Will Roy. They even putting a name on it. Shout out to Will Roy. Shout out to Aunt Glizzy. Shout out to FBG Butter. This is crazy. These some heavy allegations, man. You know, you can't just be coming out of man top like that, Paul. like, hold on. Watching the podcast, I'm um, gonna say cheese, right? And it was featuring um who Sean Cotton? FYB, yeah. Shout out Sean Cotton. Uh, the podcast was featuring FYB, J May, Aunt Glizzy, and Rainwater. Um, man, Aunt Glizzy is a dick eater. And it no, no mm. I on took it. You want to talk? About oh, he's starting. He on one off rip. Thirty seconds in, he said, "Pause, bro, a meat eater." You know what I'm saying, dude? Man. DJ, you you want to talk about dude? Well, it appeared as this unexpected Glizzy was encouraging 63rd to seek revenge for the death of FBG Duck. So why he, he ain't seek revenge for his brother? Mm. His cousin Lil B died. He told the feds about that. Mm. Hold on, wait, hold on, hold on. He ain't seek revenge when the beat him until he threw up either. Hold on, wait, but look. Damn. It's a lot of allegations going on with Aunt Glizzy right now. You was talking to the cops about your dead cousin. You got beat up till you was throwing up. You ain't slide on, on you know what I'm saying, on the folks who who slid on your cousin. Now, man, bro, I ain't going to lie, man. This is one side of the story, though. You know what I mean? It's crazy. So he was stating that he was stating that you know he was telling nah, J. Man. Nah, on some real shit, gang. We got it. We pushing oh, Pete. Look, he folks were pushing Pete. He told He told Jay Man it was too late to be pushing Pete. On two, nigga. Saying. How many of them died first? What you talking about? Mm. How many? How, how many of them died, gang? Well, motherfucker, click up this part. That part. This on two. They even make the scope even look right. Hmm. We don't talk about that shit because we don't tell about it from our end on Tuga. But when you go on their list, they list is longer. Mm. They had to catch up. That's what Get Back Game was created because they had to get back. And it was a lot of getting back to get. They still mm. trying to get. On Tuga, nigga, I, at some point, bitch, we, everybody on Tuga, like, have achieved so much in life. Mm. Like, why even spank you? Why even put <laughs> my time and effort to spank you, bitch? I been spanking shit. Mm. The new recruit, shorty them that's around, like, that's little brother, that's little bro them, little brother, little cousin, little brother them out there right now. Mm. I don't took it, shorty. They want to be legendary too. So they going to do it, shorty. Right? So every time I get back. That's a good point he made. They want to be legendary too. So they going to do it. We know what he talking about sliding on the ops. Like it's so crazy how as a people, this is really where we at in the urban community, in this culture, in the gang culture. Like you are a legend because you do a drill on somebody because you, you know what I'm saying, sparking shit up. That's crazy. That's what make you a legend. Not nigga creating general what generational wealth not creating your own business and platform not impacting your community and culture in a positive way but to become a legend according to bro you know what i'm saying you got to go slide on something that's crazy bro where our mind is at as a people though i keep getting because there's another out there that's trying to get it too chase names off murders right now and the, the kids, the kids televised the murders, stolen cars, the goofy shit. Mm. But it's also the big dogs like us, the ones who in positions and been played that can set certain examples for certain niggas. Like, well, my homie, like, we really supposed to be grooming these niggas. Like, how we grow, like, certain niggas, they, they groom they bitch before they groom they youngin'. Damn. 
I don't took you a build a bitch before you build a nigga. I don't took it that you know for a fact on Kyra. He ain't got the right guys. He gonna go out here and nail you. And I was in a position on Tuka. I didn't even know what position I was in at one point, y'all. On my homie. It took me to get older and go through all the shit I went through to understand, like, damn, nigga, I was creating menaces. Cause I, I, it's slight weight. I like how he taking accountability here. He like, nigga, I was leading a younger generation of people down the wrong path. Now we do know EBG Butter, you know what I'm saying? He got on that stand and he told, but he told on the dead. So, you know, he didn't have some kind of change of heart and he trying to change his direction. But, uh, you know, folks and them still about it though. You know, I wouldn't just walk up and test, dude. Hey, Looking at me like I'm a menace. I don't be so. It's like the motherfucker that was coming out to me back then. I'm like, what? I'm not a f with these white boys. These white boys give me all type of shit on Jaja. We had, we what? The shit was going on, but they be shit, it, like, but, but nowadays, right? I'm my homie. Like, if you can't grow your youngin' to go get some paper on top of your hunger, yo, if, if your hunger ain't up, your youngin' hunger ain't up either. Hey, I think Aunt Glizzy and, and, and um and, and your homie. Oh, that's what we was talking about, Wami. Yeah, I think I think him and Man, Lil J got something bitch. in common though. They get their mm. dicks up. <laughs> Pause. Bad boys. Pause, homie. Hey, the cat is out the bag, homie. You know what I'm saying? You see how he slicked through in Lil J. We already know he been on them heavy allegations. You know, you know what I'm saying? He got boys sitting in his lap in prison. He getting in and fights with trans people, and it's looking like a domestic abuse type situation. Uh, but yeah, man, it's crazy. It's crazy, bro. Oh, folks, great fight. <laughs> Hell no, man, shorty, this shit. Hey, no, shit. Hold on, real. hey DJ, you look. Turn your head drop on on Jaja. Ja. I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna you shorty paperwork real quick. I don't Hell even be doing no. shit like this, like. But I don't cry like this, real fact, man. Like, I don't be doing no bapping, man. Motherfucker added me into the live. Mm. And I was like, ah, uh, shut up. Shut the front door. Because his bitch had already told me this happened. Just like she had told me he was sucking. Oh. Like sucked by boys. Oh, man. Wait, hold on. We can't say this is law if this is coming from a girl. She could have been mad, jealous, a whole bunch of stuff, and just making up lies. But let's see what the proof is. A freak boy. Oh. Freak man. He talking about Aunt Glizzy. That's his best friend, y'all. Now look, seriously. We are warriors. This is his best, best friend. friend. Look, go mm. back and look in the, the old tweets and on dude page and shit like that. Like dude was talking about he was his stylist and he was saying like, yeah, that's my best friend. He gave mm. her the rare. But now, right? <laughs> so his stylist, ex best friend, his stylist turned ex best friend or best friend is now his, you know what I'm saying? They getting freaky behind doors, allegedly. This is who this, this dude, Will Roy, he on the phone talking about it. So what's going on? Best friend say he ate that dick. You oh. Freaky, man. You freaky. Pause. What? All the f wanna come after me. I, on took I came after Lil J. On took and I and Glizzy after me, cause I done f***ed his bitch and went to Miami with that whole too on Jaja. I ain't know he was on Freak Boy though. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, hey. Look. And I just like sucked it a little bit and he went back in the room. Damn. He pulled his dick out wow. real quick and went back in the room. It's insane. You freaky boy. That's wow. That is barbersome. Real. 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 Wow. And that bitch getting all type of cleanups. He come and get your rim job. Come get your rim job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Hell come on, no. Get your rim. That's crazy. That's crazy, bro. This is crazy, man. Do y'all think this is real? Is 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 it a possibility that this could be fake? 
the dude on the phone talking about somebody else that he ain't even really talking about Aunt Glizzy. All I know is, man, this crazy, bro. It's crazy. Do y'all think this is real or not? Now this is facts. It is receipts that he do know this dude Will Roy, and they are they was friends, and you know what I'm saying. So this ain't no made up person. Oh. That's crazy. Wow. Okay. Sheesh. Well, act Lizzie. Hey, look, just check your text message real quick. I'm a I'm an asshole. You know what I'm saying? That he said something about a paper party go slide for my homie. In, in the last interview, he was like, well, speaking on paper party, these are people from DC. I'm, I, I just, I sent you a close up on the, uh, on the actual paperwork, but I'm going to offer this, sh offer to send you the, uh, the live. I ain't gonna lie. This paperwork fake as hell. Cause this nah. grammar wrong, words spell wrong. I'm looking at this shit. These is homie number just shit. From a glance. I ain't read number two words. Who wrote this? <laughs> Look at it right here. These are niggas who he's arguing with. He was on the live with him. I'm finna see the whoop. Hey. Look, check this out. These the niggas he was on live with. These his people. These his DC people. Oh, um, bro. These the people who son. These the people who son alive with his best friend too. Tell him he eat dick. Oh. These. Are hold on, hold on, hold on. So. I like how DJU, he not biased. He's like, hold on, bro. This paperwork a little fake. I'm going to just let that be known. You know what I'm saying? But Butter, he, he's trying to push this narrative. He like, you know, these the dudes who this, that, and the third. And you know what I'm saying? And Glizzy and Butter, they've been going back and forth. But like, DJU ain't just quick to be like, oh, no, this is true. I'm, I'm stamping this. Like, nah. Hey, these your folks. These your kin folks know, um, bro. I ain't bapping. Dude, them. I don't even know these guys. This ain't no mm. chase. This show. This this is you, freaky man. This is your people. <laughs> these are uh, Kim folks, them nigga. Well, what we he wanted. I guess he wanted him some uh, some clout. So what we doing? What about? No, I don't give it to him, butter. What I got this bitch here too. Mm. I do. I do. What you? Oh uh, my dear sister, so look. Shorty, look, Yodi, Brody, not the ghost account, cuz, but I'm gonna go to her other account. You block me. Not I you. think I think all in all, Aunt Glizzy just wants some Chicago no, attention. So, mm. so. Well, he could have got that when I took his chain in Atlanta. Now he has, now he has you took his chain in Atlanta? I ain't never heard Damn. that. Oh. Damn. Niggas taking his chain and hey, he just ain't glizzy, man. What's going on, bro? We need to know. We need to hear from you. You know what I'm saying? You ain't in DC no more. We know you ain't rocking with Shy Glizzy, man. It's a whole lot. You everywhere, this, that, and the third. And man, it's it's looking bad right now, bro. You got niggas snatching your chain. You you feel me? You just all over the place, man. You all over the place, bro. But what what that bitch at? You took it? I ain't seen that, Lord. Mm -hmm. On the solid. You just said Atlanta. Yeah, South by Southwest is it? A3C. It was A3C. A3C, okay. As a matter of fact, it was the same weekend Chop got beat up in the club, too. I remember that. Okay, I, I, okay, okay. But no, 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 no. Cause Chop got beat up at South by Southwest though. No, nah, he got Chop. Chop got into it at A Three C too because we was all out there with Johnny Metcalf and we was all outside when he got into it with another bouncer and just had me tweaking off, uh, tweaking off with bouncers acting wild. Okay, I'm researching. I remember. I remember the bouncer he got. <laughs> I don't know how valid this is, bro. Same like dude, crew, FBG Butter and his crew all over the place too. We can't. We can't necessarily stamp this at facts, as facts, but we do know, you know, it's very well could have happened. This is new information, man. It's crazy. Research ain't working. So now I gotta go do my homework. AC3. I know he got two things that do security. AC3 85 South. Cause them niggas don't play. Oh God.
Hey, man, y'all let me know what y'all think, bro. Is this facts or cap, bro? It's Cartier, you in Cartier World.